Here in the Tennessee Valley, many high school students want to continue their education at a school where they can show their pride by yelling, Roll Tide. Yet, they're finding out that it's not a given they'll be admitted into the University of Alabama. And not only that, their biggest competition isn't from, say, Birmingham or Montgomery. Instead, it's from Oregon or New Jersey. Some sounds, like the bells from the Denny Chimes, are still a fixture on the quad in Tuscaloosa. Yet after 183 years of tradition, change seems to be the constant at the University of Alabama. The state's largest school is now a magnet to students from all corners of this country. Kaylee Brashears traded in the sun and the surf of San Diego for the excitement of national championships and highly ranked academic programs at the capstone. The PR program is nationally ranked, which is what I want to get into. Cool. So that was the aha moment. Kaylee's not the only one who doesn't have an Alabama address. Right now, 51% of the students are from out of state. This is a sharp contrast to what you would have seen on campus back in 2002, when three quarters of the students were from Sweet Home, Alabama. The school's vision started to change when Dr. Robert Witt arrived on campus in 2003. As president, he wanted Alabama to transition from a state school to a university that commands national respect. Terrell Grant heard that message loud and clear in Prince George, Virginia. I mean, it, it's a great place. Like, out of all the colleges I visited, this is the one that just, like, jumped out at me. It has, like, everything anybody could ever want. When Grant arrives in the fall, it is likely the person sitting next to him will not be from Alabama. 64% of the 2014 freshman class are from a different state or country. Just eight years ago, the opposite was true. So why the big switch? Some say it makes perfect sense when you look at the dollars and cents differences in tuition. Dr. Witt doesn't hide the fact that Alabama aggressively recruits out-of-state students who pay nearly $16,000 more per year. He says tough decisions had to be made when state funding was cut substantially starting in 2008. If it wasn't for our non-resident student enrollment, the impact of losing $60 million would be felt on scholarship support, We'd have fewer faculty members, which means larger classes. We wouldn't have the dollars to invest in our facilities and ensuring our students have state-of-the-art laboratories and other educational opportunities. Since Dr. Witt arrived in 2003, Alabama's enrollment has ballooned from 20,000 students to more than 36,000 in 2014. Enrollment is not the only number that's rising. High school students need an above average ACT score. They want a ticket to T-Town. In our state has averaged around 21 for the past several years. The average ACT score for an Alabama student this past fall, freshman, was 26. The university's average GPA has risen as well from a 3.3 in 2003 to a 3.65 in 2014. However, as Alabama continues to attract and admit a more diverse student body, some are wondering if this trend is taking away spots from hopeful in-state students. I mean, I like meeting the people from out of state, but also too, like when you bring in so many out of state students, it's put, it's kind of pushing some of the in-state students away because they're thinking that competition, it's, it's going up. So it's like, I have to step up my game. Yet yeah, Dr. Witt claims the same student who was accepted into Alabama when he arrived on campus in 2003 is still getting a thumbs up in 2015. We're committed to ensuring that every qualified Alabama resident who applies to this university is accepted. While the university says Alabama students are still a top priority, a subtle change in the school's mission statement speaks loudly. In 2003, its official mission was, quote, advance the intellectual and social condition of the people of the state. Yet the most recent mission is to, quote, advance the intellectual and social condition of the people of the state, the nation, and the world. While 64% of Alabama's 2014 freshman class is from another state or country, the disparity is not quite as large at the other state schools. Auburn is the closest with 40% of its freshman students coming from out of state. But the number drops substantially at UAH and UAB, where 20 and 16% of the freshmen are not from Alabama. I'm Trent Butler, WAFF 48 News. Well, coming up, the officer injured in the Chattanooga...